Hello YouTube world, this is Sachin Sharp. Today we're going to bring you a great video of this 1999 American Dream. 40 foot. I'm really excited to talk about this motorhome. It's way above average, okay? We like good motorhomes, so the po folks are looking for them on, a, on a YouTube. Some of them are just junk. Some of them are fair condition, good. This is in excellent condition. Let's start from front. Really, really beautiful uh, paint. Uh, full paint. It's got brand new velvet camera, uh, uh, backup, backup camera. I said the rear view mirrors. These are brand new. What happens on older one? They get corroded, oxidation, and all that. The owner didn't like it, so he put new one. They're about a grand, twelve hundred dollars a piece. That's twenty five hundred dollars right there. Twelve hundred sixty hours on generator. Own end seventy five hundred. Windshields are free from any cracks or star cracks. One of them is a new windshield. Probably this one. I don't know. Um, Metal bumper. Look at the front paint finish. No 3M issues. You know, might have a couple of little road mark chips. It's got about 78,000 miles. Um, headlight looks clean. Come around this way. No D lamb. Got power windows. I think they put uh, some side new windows too. Some of these windows they get foggy, so he put new windows here too. Side window panels. All right, got six new Michelin tires. Got an acrylic. A cloth type material on window awnings. Uh, it's been sitting at our, our driveway for a few few days and it's been raining so you see that little bit of a uh, black streak that comes from the roof. This is an LP gas tank. So previous owner had put new socks in the front, new tires all the way around, um, new uh, let's see you got uh, it was just recently serviced new filters transmission was serviced new filters new belts dry belts that's your lp tank look at the paint it's an excellent shape let's see some of them there we go yeah it gets it's got a slide out tray on the other side i like that light oh by the way cargo lights are all led lights we don't have it on right now but he changed them too this should be, let's see, oh, some extra pieces of wood for leveling jacks. Now while we add under, look at the slide under this, under, under, underneath the slide. No rust, really good shape. Over here, that's your wash bay. Just uh, clean, no D-lamb. All right, now, I don't know if you can see this. What color would you call maroon, burgundy, light burgundy? It's got a few little paint checking, okay? It's probably hard to see in the video, but if you get really close, it's a little bit of checking, I see. But straight body, no D-lamb. Michelin tires, I don't know the date codes are pretty. This, these are new tires, less than 4,000 miles. Uh, maybe 22 of 17. And that means it could be installed in a 18 or 19, a couple of years ago. I mentioned to people before, when you see the date code, 22 of 17, that means sometime mid-17. That does not mean it just rolled out of a factory and got right on it. It could be in a warehouse and then 50 amp and then got installed. So good tires. Oh, got two. This is, a, your, this is your side mount radiator Spartan chassis. It's got, you know, a little surface rust. could be detailed, painted up, or put Rust-Oleum to prevent it, but nothing big. Another metal bumper back here. We got an 8.3 ISC. That's an 8.3 liter ISC Cummins, 330 horsepower diesel engine. Very easy to work on. So you got everything back here. Your radiator reservoir, coolant. Um, that's your Extension ladder to get up on top of the roof. Roof is in excellent condition. And we've got a little drone shot, we'll show you that. Should have 10,000 pound towing capacity. Got a six pin hookup and a regular seven pin hookup. How about that? Got both hookups. Uh, American Dream SE, I guess that's the model. Uh, I don't see any body damage, it may have a few scrape here and there and if you call that a little d lamb i don't know i see a little eh, i'm just being nitpicker maybe not so we got a windows all the windows have a awning even including the 
a living room window under the patio awning. Everything has a window awning. Let's see. I hear something. Oh, it's TV. Okay, I said, wow. Hmm, thank you. So we got new new batteries. Are they? Let's see. The guy told us it was new. I couldn't see the date code, but they're in excellent shape. This is how you get your coach, I mean, chassis battery to look right here. These are Napa commercial batteries. No issues whatsoever. She cranks right up. I mean, it would sit here for a week and it would fire right up. So no problem. Look at the uh, big exhaust and air filter. No rust issue. Really nice. Good condition. All right, tires in good. You got 10 gallon water heater. Again, straight body, full paint. The white part is a paint. It's not just like your typical Fleetwood bounder or some lower end coach. It's not a fiberglass, it's a gel coat, painted surface. We got a, that's a nice upgrade. It's about $1,700 Norco freezer, outside. Uh, Freezer and refrigerator. This is where you can put some adult drinks while you are tailgating or something. Slide out tray on this one. And though another slide out tray there. Let's see what's in here. Those are tire covers? No, those are. It's not, but next one, yeah. These are all the window covers and the windshield covers. Very, very clean. Uh, these are shelves that he took the TV out from the bottom. This is a pass through, yep. Spartan chassis is one of the best chassis out there. I like them better than nothing wrong with a Freightliner. They were a good chassis too, but I think I prefer Spartan. I guess what is that, 47 inches or 42 inches? Big TV? It's a, it's a smart TV. It's still got room back there, okay? So if you wanted to store something back there, it's huge, lots and lots of room. Check it out. Yep. Let's turn that off. We're going through it. So I think one of the door compartment, I saw a little chip. You know, I might have missed one or two little road chip, but overall, it's in really, really good shape. Uh, very slight fog window here, maybe there too. Slight fog here, but that's not foggy. That's new new panel right here. That's what he changed. Um, all right, let's. Uh, I'm really excited to show you inside. You're gonna love it. All right, let's check out this American Dream. It could be a dream come true to some people. It's in really really good shape. So he's got some. Uh, look at here. He's got nice. Um, Little uh, compartment, I guess, storage area. Both of them. Well, I think it's the same storage it goes through. All right, come on in. It's got a LVP floors. Let me turn this TV down. I don't need a competition in talking. It's the local news. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, boo? It's gorgeous. Let me shut that door. So, you know, it, uh, American coaches are made by Fleetwood. They make crown roof, so water naturally sheds off. Roof was recently sealed. This guy was meticulous about it by looking at it inside. He had changed the transmission fluid. The power string fluid uh, was just serviced. Tires new, got new shocks and stabilizer shocks in the front. Uh, just really nice motor. All the owner's manual and books are right here. That's a Spartan. American Dream, American Dream, and some bunch of other paperwork here. So we got a whole bunch of paperwork. Uh, this thing opens up, yep. And look, it just does that. How about that? I think it should be a couple of chairs back there. Chairs in good shape too. No condensation or stain from tea or coke. I mean, it's in really well kept shape, and it matches the uh, all the window treatment. You see that? Uh, uh, got two uh, zone heating. And air conditioning, look, look at this too. Let's, let me show you. See the lights back there? I guess you call them mood light or in a Prevo buses, they call them a Trivoli light. I don't know what Trivoli is, but I thought it reminds me of being in Rome. Fontana de Trevi. I don't know what I'm talking about. But look at this lights under here. 
beautiful. No condensation stain or any sign of abuse. This is a really, really nice photo. I love this uh, lighter wood. It's more contemporary, even though this is a 1999. By the way, you see my keys here? You know why I have keys? Still got an old school antenna. So you don't forget, drive it off. Now I'll put an antenna down. Let's see if my signal's gonna be gone, but they're still there, all right. Uh, all smart TVs. So what, in 1999, this thing used to raise, come up and down, had a little remote, a push button TV. Oh, he still got it. You see that? The, the motor is still there, it'll raise up. Um, but he took the old boob, 19, 19 inch boob tube out and put a, and he even has a little piece of wood here and double piece of wood so it could be leveled. Backup monitor, got a um, direct TV. See this? This light probably come on with uh, something here. All right, let's let's jump on this captain seat. Show you what we got here. Wait to start, and you fire this baby up. That's how you crank diesel up. It's got power windows, six-bit Allison push button. So you just push your brake to the foot pedal, and then you put in drive. It says six. And you can press mode, and you can go up and down if you wanted to. But nobody uses that mode button. Here in the mountains, maybe? You could, yeah. But we got a for a mountain. Good thing, Lizzie. Look, exhaust brake on, and then ICC. That's called Interstate Commerce Commission. You know, you give them flashers when 18 will let you pass. You give them thank you. That's your cruise control. We'll do that on test drive. All right. Put a neutral, and engage the brake, and that's how you take off. That's your power gear, leveling jacks. It works beautifully. Oh man, ooh, it feels nice. Let's see what the radio sound like. Source tuner. I don't know what station is it on. Oh, man, Fleetwood does awesome job. We just did a video the other day, me and my son. It was a 2002 Fleetwood Flair. <laughs> this is American tradition. Really good stereo, all right. Uh, enough of that. All the dashes look good. You got a really, really good voltage. Uh, voltmeter is around 13, reads 13, a little over 13. You got, let's see, your transmission is cool, of course. Water is cool. Your, that's your front PSI uh, for your air. Uh, let's see, is that the VDO? That's oil pressure, I'm sorry. So, you know, usually like 35 or better is really good. It's almost at uh, 39, 60 PSI. And as you, as you, as you raise it up, Great oil pressure. Okay, miles are 77, 759. It's about to hit 78. We got 140 psi of air pressure. So that was the oil pressure. A really good oil pressure. I mean, this is just a good coach. You got telescopic and tilt steering wheel. All right. Uh, 1262 hours on generator. You got power heat, heated mirror. So you can do that. Power mirrors, uh, power windows here. Let's see. Uh, it's got a city horn, so luggage light, you can turn them off and on. You got a couple of fans up here, uh, hood light, docking lights. It's got docking lights on the boat side, dome lights are right there. That one, I just turn it off. There we go, it's on. Uh, you have air horn or city horn. That's city horn and that's air horn. I love air horn. Someone did a really good job looking at a, a fuel paddle and a brake paddle. He did a really good job on hardwood. And the LVP, so good thing about it, let's just say you got slide in and out or water spilled or leaked out, it's not going to damage this floor. Uh, both of the sofa opens up in the bed. This one is a magic bed. So you, you get the point how that works. And that one too, flax steel magic bed. Both of them turned into bed. So, you know, two kids, two kids here, four or two adult easily. Or three, two, three adults, depending on size. All right. See, no water leaks or any water condensation stain. That stain would give away that had some kind of water leak. That doesn't mean if it ever had leak. It was just resealed. The roof was sealed. It's in really good shape. Wow, I just can't. Boo -boo. How many times? We did a video on American uh, Eagle about a year ago. It was in excellent shape. Went to Nevada. Didn't last. This kind of coaches are hard to find. Let's see if I'll get my... Yep, my surface light. Let's check it out, what we got here. KitchenAid, nice two gas stove. Somebody spilled something there, we can have that cleaned up, no big deal. It's 
got lots of mirror. As a, uh, you know, some people like it. That's a little older style. If you don't like it, uh, put something on top. You know, uh, they, they sell them at Home Depot. <laughs> got a lot of mirrors here. Look, we can see ourselves in there. <laughs> lots of mirror. Mirrors over here. If you're into mirror, this is your coach. If not, <laughs> easy to remodel. Just like we did the hardwood floor. He had it done. You could take them up, put something else. Uh, Hey, nice candles. Is that a stainless Spicy. Steel sink? That is a, thank you. Oh, stainless steel sink. Yep, sure is. And uh, guess what? Garbage it's a new, uh, new, no, it doesn't have garbage. So he's got a new uh, faucet. So he had a new faucet in the kitchen and a bathroom. They did that. I love this solid surface. I don't know if he's a Korean or something, but really marble looking floor um you know lots of storage under there and all that stuff you know we don't have to go through everything but uh it's all here all right you saw the extension side by side refrigerator we'll come to here it does have ice maker runs on lp gas or or ac power should be drawer under here yep they use Oh, by the way, while I'm down here, look at this ceramic tile. I don't see any cracks. Really, really good shape. Got a little roller sign here when the slide comes in and out, just the indentation or what do you call a little stain of a roller, but I don't see any, any crack tile. That's another good, good sign of good, good coach or well-capped coach. Here we have a privacy door to go in a bathroom area. Over here, we have a, bat, a washer or dryer. Probably a little drawer under here. No, that's, yeah. Let me store something. Ceiling like that. That's a fan. Got some storage over here. The center part of the coach, you got a cedar, cedar line closet. And there goes two extra chairs in excellent shape. They change all that to LED. Really nice and some shelvings there. Man, this is just, I can't get over it. We love older coaches. We just did the 1988 Prevost video. Check that out, too. Uh, we love older coaches, especially in a really good shape, or people who have taken care of it, and they were proud owners, not the ones sitting around in the backyard or some, some grandpa, and uh, grandkids are trying to get rid of it for inheritance, and it just uh, rotted, rotted out motorhome. I was talking to somebody today, said so he had motorhome parked in a, uh, some storage for a year, and one of the, what do you call the skylight broke and water was all over, ruined the whole roof and the floor. So, you know, oh my God, this is nice, ain't it? I'm gonna take my shoes off and step in there. It's actually tub, yeah. I can fit in here. There we go, I can still take a shower in here. The six feet folks can do it. Really nice, I like that. You don't see a lot of bathtub, do you? A lot of times we just stand up showers. And we take our shoes off if it were carpeted motorhome, but we like solid surface. So over here we got a nice counter space. Uh, nice chrome, or what do you call it? I think 90s, thing. 90s there, yeah, yeah, gold. I mean, hey, don't tell my wife. She, she can paint this thing black, paint all this black, or different colors. You can do whatever you want to do. So it does have a water heater, is electric or LP. So it's got an element in it, water heater, when you turn that on, the generator would get a little load. So you can run it on a electric, too. and here we go. Let's see, you got a little stopper here, and that gives you privacy back here. In the bedroom, hmm. I'm not lined up, that's what that is. Locks back in place. Uh, I think Liz, you, boo -boo, you did this, right? Huh? Amazon, yeah, but let's see what, what kind of, that's original thing. We'll cover that up. A yeah, good bed. You change it to whatever you want. Does it have storage underneath it? Oh, that's a good question. Let's check it out. Yes, indeed. Not a whole lot, but uh, by the way, we can look at the engine or just look at our pictures. This is your 120 or 110 circuit board, 12, 12 volt uh, fuses are here. Let's see how clean it is. All right, come around the back. So they even use a little 
storage space here, a cornered up, so that's good. We got uh, day and night shades. I have a habit of banging the walls. We have dealt, we've been in the business about 20 years. We've seen some junks along the way, okay? They'd be all perforated because of water leak and whatnot have you. This is a nice coach, just beautiful, beautiful coach. Got nice mirrored, more mirrors. Uh, you know, I like the mirrors and it's got a little um, rope light in the back. I see that. Yep. You don't like mirror? Take them out, put whatever. I like mirror. Good solid motorhome, no water leaks. Ceiling looks good. So if you would come in from that way, well, see if you could show them, you already showed them, TV. Yeah. So we got a nice uh, 32 inch, I think, TV, Sanyo. You still got a storage behind it, look. Wow. It's really nice. Uh, some drawers up here, some storage under there, uh, lots of little storage, okay? Those people won't go down to Florida or Arizona, spend some home. That switch may be bad right here. They, these are five dollar oh, switches, huh? Oh, yeah, you gotta pop it like that. That's it. So you can change them for five bucks. So hey, speaking of little stuff like that, if those are folks out there on a YouTube video, you know motorhomes or anything like car or boat, you gotta maintain them. If you think you're just gonna buy it and have fun all the time, uh, you're wrong. You're gonna have to work on them. Maybe change the switch, change the fluid. Take care of the coat, get up on top of the roof, seal your, uh, seal your rubber roof. You just got to maintain them. If you don't, they're not going to take care of you. But buy it, use it. Don't just buy it and let it sit there. I'll blab so much. But hey, how about we get on the road and tell you how this thing drives? All right. All right, here's a test drive on this 99 American Dream. Man, I'll tell you what, I just drove from my home just about a mile, and I can feel the steering wheel is so tight. Uh, no wonder they had new uh, socks, the new um, uh, tie rod ends. I mean, it, it pretty much front end was rebuilt. I mean, it is straight as an arrow, runs really, really solid. Uh, so, as I mentioned earlier, great oil pressure. Uh, you know, anything over 35 is great. Everything works fine. We're going to check the cruise. We're going to get on the highway in just a little bit. But so far, just driving a couple of miles because mine brought it to our house to do the video. Um, let's see, we'll get on the highway. We got some uh, South Carolina highways. They are, roads are really potholes and stuff, but uh, air conditioning is cold, by the way. Oh my God, it feels great. Uh, that time of the year is just around the corner. We're gonna need air conditioning. Um, air is good. Uh, let's see, uh, both power mirrors work when I adjusted them. Backup monitor is working fine. So, um, so far the feedback in highway, I mean on an in-town road at about uh, 40 miles an hour, really, really nice. And I can actually punch the pedal to the metal and it, it'll get up and go because I need to turn right and I need to pass this truck and get in the traffic light. It's got the giddy up too for 40 foot. All right, so we'll continue our video when we get on the highway. Jumping on the highway, this is where we're going to find out. So I just uh, called the previous owner and found out a little more details. How about that? There's uh, some uh, good details. He had it since October of 2006. Of course, he's got a, new, uh, a newer, Newmar SX. That's why he traded it in. Tires were only put on in September of 2020. So don't worry about that 26 of 17. It doesn't matter. This Michelin tire stays in a warehouse for a couple of years before they actually installed them. And that's why they're only like six months old. So you got five, six years left on that tires, okay? Uh, less than 4,000 miles. He's a second owner, so whoever buys is gonna be third owner. Wow, this motorhome just, what are you doing about? Mm, 55, runs excellent. Let's see, we're gonna try a cruise out. Uh, right at about, 65, almost 70. Cruise is engaged, my right foot is off. Well, <laughs> what's going on with Gators a little bit? Drives really, really well. I guess I gotta pass people because on the right lane, this runs really good. The Spartan chassis, like I said earlier, I love Spartan chassis. They're, they're just smooth riding machine. 
but you know with the new uh, uh, what do you call stabilizer socks and the new front shocks the front is just like new steer is dead straight uh, man it's easy to drive uh, engine is in the back so you don't hear any sound all I hear is a sound from tires meeting the highway uh, and nice radio check this out again I like the radio <laughs> there we go to me it drives good uh, you know no, when we stop a couple of places no brake vibration no pulsation brakes are good everything works in this motorhome so you know it's been maintained well exterior bodies taking care of it uh, it's one of a, a rare 1999 American dream It's gonna make someone's dream come true new rear view mirrors nice hardwood floors a nice touch up on a new TVs new faucets I mean you know just a nice motorhome all the way around phone number 864-404-0054 the number again is 864-404 0054. You can also call my end, 864-376-5600. That's 864-376-5600. Being a 1999, financing may be tough unless you got an 800 score or 750. Your local bank or credit union will finance it. It's a little tough to get older motor on finance, but we do take trades and help you to get finance if we can. Uh, we do sell warranty. We don't push them, but if you want to buy a warranty, we have options there. Um, what else I'd like to add? Please subscribe to our channel and uh, tell other folks about it. We really appreciate it. And, and put a thumbs up or, or like the video button or whatever. I don't know, but uh, we really appreciate your time watching our videos. This is our family business. We're a small dealership, and we really, really appreciate you watching our videos. God bless you, and have a great day. Got electric power seats up and down, really nice comfort. Does big brake work? Mm hmm. How about the tail horn? Yeah, it works. Are you doing the video? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, Jake brake works. How about the air horn? I love the air horn. I love all the seats are powered. They're like six-way power seat, up and down, forward, backward, and very, very comfortable. Nice leather.